Welcome to Art for Film's Sake. I'm Stephen Reed, and this is The New World by Killian Eng. The glory of Mother Nature is always defined by what we see, the breathtaking forms she takes, the astounding colours. The awesome spectacle. But there's a whole other dimension that completes our appreciation of the natural world. Sound. Without it, we only really get half the picture. When sight and sound sync together, any experience is exponentially enhanced. So, if I told you there's a film poster that can stimulate the ears as much as it pleases the eye, would you believe me? Believe me now? The New World by Killian Eng is as close as you'll get to the beauty of nature on a 24 by 36 piece of paper. A poster that blends everything together in perfect harmony to create something amazing. Eng is an artist well known for the abundance of details and elements he packs into his work. One of those artists that can fervently spill out beautifully realised art at an astonishing rate. He makes it seem so effortless. A real talent. I mean, just look at all that flora and fauna. There's such a level of incredible detail in the abundance of different shaped leaves, fronds, stems, petals and buds. The delicately drawn fluttering blades of grass and ferns. Those fantastic wiry trees with their intertwining knotted branches desperately stretching up to the sky. All of it swaying in perfect harmony with the figure of Pocahontas. Her arms aloft as she too reaches for that brilliantly rendered sky and embraces the nature all around her. I love how she is perfectly framed by it all. Eng has cunningly created a pocket of breathing space right in the middle of all that dense foliage. There's also a subtle, clever little touch by Eng that acknowledges a big theme in the film. By placing that sailing ship that's come all the way from England on that far off horizon, he's hinting at the seismic love story about to unfold. The New World by Terence Malick is a beautiful piece of filmmaking. The story tells of the first permanent English settlement in North America, Jamestown, Virginia. It puts you right in the shoes of Captain John Smith as he sets foot on the shores of the East Coast for the first time. You really feel what it must have been like. 
to arrive in a strange and foreign land to be met with an intoxicating, almost overwhelming cacophony of nature. As the clash of cultures unfolds between the primitive indigenous population and the new settlers, it's Mother Nature that watches on, ever-present, bemused, unfazed. As a medium, film is so powerful because it too, when done well, is an irresistible combination of sight and sound. Yet, sound design in film is often taken for granted. In the New World, sound design is used to elevate Mother Nature to be the most important character. The lapping of the ocean waves, the wind in the trees, the birdsong, the constant clicking of cicadas, it all combines to create a powerful and unforgettable presence in every scene. All the great films bathe your eyes in sumptuous cinematography while stimulating your ears with harmonious sound. And when you look at this extraordinary poster, you'll realise that Eng has somehow managed a similar effect. He communicates sound through your eyes. You can see but also hear exactly what Captain John Smith and his crew experienced when they stepped onto that shore. Killian Eng has conjured up one of the greatest experiences any of us will ever experience in our lifetime. Mother Nature in all her glory.